Spirit was the third song we recorded. And once again, it was a song that a lot of aggression came out of me and DC in that song. It, it was really one of those songs that we just let it all go. And I called it Spirit because that's kind of what I put in it. My, my heart was in that one. I didn't know where it was going, it had no lyrics, had really no, it had no name. And they asked what we we're gonna call it, and said call it Spirit. And they took it from there. Spirit is our Bruno Mars. I'm gonna call it real Bruno Mars. Goofing around with the, with a progression. It started out for nothing. It was kind of hard uh, to right away to get melodies for it because we didn't know what we wanted to do. But uh, we got such a great team with Dana, Vell, and uh, Enos with those lyrics, man. They just uh, took a minute, but it got a nail. Spirit was a surprise. It was Spirit is not a song that I don't think that I would naturally gravitate to. Um, it was a little too rah-rah for me uh, at first. But it wasn't until it wasn't until I really began listening to it, really began understanding, really began listening to the music and understanding the complexities of it. Even though it has kind of that, that anthem sort of sound, um, there is a, a sophistication about it. I totally did not expect to be writing the cheerleading anthem, but it's so cool because it makes you it, it shows team spirit. Um, another song that I think could easily be on anybody's soundtrack, those type of songs, you know, it's just so genius at that, um, just getting those songs that are timeless, um, something that you can see and bring it on, 55,000, that's what that reminds me of, or any song where you're trying to uplift um, the kids or whatnot. A very weird experience for me, just from the standpoint of writing anything that happy, because it's just not my way. So. <laughs> pretty heavy uh, love 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 kind of guy um, serious song kind of guy uh, so I, I uh, give Enos the credit for bringing that out of me and uh, enjoying to write uh, this kind of almost anthony type song cheerleader kind of song as um, Dana said and uh, especially now uh, living in Detroit as Enos does uh, and things going on as they are right now with Detroit, um, I think it could be a great uh, go get them kind of get up despite everything else that's going on around you kind of thing. You know, don't let these people keep you down. You need your spirit. Don't be broken. Don't let your heart be broken by the obvious and, and what the world would tell you that your world would be. My favorite part of it is is the breakdown, the nasty fun breakdown. Once again, we just took something that comes out of a, a real fast tempo into a breakdown with that, that neutron face, you know. I want to make people dance in their seats. One way the song is going, like a chilling anthem, and then she breaks down into spirit. So it goes in the church, and it's like you never know what's about to happen. But once we kind of honed in on it and understood the idea of team spirit, community, and how, how, um, how relevant that is, and especially um, in lieu of the things that are going on with Detroit. And the irony of it is that when we finished writing it or recording it, I think it was as we were recording it, uh, was the day that we heard that the city had gone into bankruptcy. And at that moment for me, the song completely made sense and how in order to for the region for this for, our, for Michigan our state to to get through this this episode that we're going to have to really come together <laughs>